How's it going guys? My name is Mike here and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about a various like plethora of news that we've recently got regarding Switch, um, anything to do with Pokemon basically, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, and some little little teasers that Pokemon have been throwing our way. So let's just get straight into the video and I'm going to be starting with this first bit of point. Today on the 23rd of May, Basically, Nintendo have said that they're releasing a non-docked version of the Switch to buy. So basically, as you can see here, you get the little hand grips and the obviously the Joy-Cons and the Switch, but you get no dock. This is basically saying you can get the Switch, but it's for people who maybe, you know, one person's using the dock, so the other person can't, but they want to play together. Now, I don't see how this could work with many games such as Smash, for example, seeing as people can use two controllers. However, I could see it being something like Pokemon. You know, two people have got, like, you know, they're both using Switches in the same house, and they've got their own Switches, but, you know, they want to get one without the dock because they've already got a dock. So I could almost see it happening for Pokemon and that sort of thing. So that's almost suggesting, you know, people are going to use the Switch non-docked for Pokemon a lot more than they are docked, which means that Nintendo have kind of caught onto that a little bit, which I find quite interesting. Now I'm going to get into my next point here. Jinx Club Poké Serena has posted this basically saying, the Chinese leaker who leaked this GIF, I did see this a couple of weeks ago and I didn't think much of it, but basically he leaked this GIF on Weibo, and he's now resigned from his job. Prior to resigning, he said, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee with legit titles. Now, the interesting thing about this is that I obviously, like I said, saw this GIF not so long ago and I thought, hey, that looks like a really good model. If that was in-game, that would be pretty neat. So I was just thinking, you know, if that's what it's going to look like game style-wise and game art-wise, that's pretty cool. Now, the interesting thing is the Chinese leaker was obviously working with Nintendo and apparently the same Chinese leaker is the one who fell out with Junichi Masuda about certain things and said things about Junichi Masuda that he shouldn't have done. Now the question is though with this is did he leak this knowing that he was going to leave anyway or did he leave anyway and then leak stuff out anyway? You know what I mean? He Did he basically leak this first and because of that he resigned? Or did he resign knowing that he was going to leak this and knowing that obviously it would be an aftermath of problems if he, you know, didn't resign? And that's the interesting thing about this one. Now, if you look here, obviously, there's a tail with two round parts. That's the female version of Pikachu. And there's one with a straight part. Now, apparently, according to a data miner, this is basically their way of doing models in the new games. If this is true, essentially, take this with a grain of salt. But apparently this is how they're going to do models for different genders in the different games and the different variations. So they'll overlay two models, have them doing the same animation, except one model will be the female version and one will be the male version. Obviously the only thing that's changing is certain parts, such as the tail. This saves for data space and data storage. They can store Pikachu much easier by doing this. They can store it under one model which saves data space on the Switch and on the game cartridge. And also, it just increases, um, you know, efficiency of the program. You know, they can run much better animations because all it has to do is switch out the tails. It just goes, I want this tail or this tail. You know, you don't have to switch out a whole model. You can just switch out the tails quickly, you know, depending on the gender. And the uh, animations and the um, algorithm works a lot quicker. Now, I think this that this could be legitimate because of this. And I think, essentially, Game Freak are trying to make themselves, you know, they're trying to get the Pokemon Switch game to be really refined code-wise so it runs really efficiently. Because obviously this is a high-quality HD gaming console. They want to get it right. Obviously, we can see here there's a lot of, you know, edges like pixelated edges and that sort of thing, pixelated shading. But I think that's just because there's a model in, like, an environment. Whereas I think if it was put into the game under the actual engine used in that actual console, I think it would be a lot more, you know, it would be a lot more utilised and it would probably look a bit smoother. Now this gets on to my third point. This is a little teaser we've got from the guys over at um, Pokemon. They were doing a Who's That Pokemon? And 
right at the start here, they say, I'm Omori, I'm Iowo. It's time for Who's That Pokemon? Let's Go. Why do they have Let's Go? Why would you put, you know, why would you say Let's Go? I know, I know obviously you say Let's Go. Like, you know, if you're going to do something. But it just seems the fact that they say Let's Go. Just straight up, that's all they say. It's just quite interesting. Also, if you look here, if we just enlarge the video, the terrible quality is bad, I'm afraid. But as you can see here, Iowo, or however you pronounce it, sorry for butchering it, he's wearing Janichi Masuda on his front top. Why? We don't know. <laughs> That's all I can say is we don't really know. But you can see here we've got a loader in the background, obviously, and they're playing Who's That Pokemon? Now, I just find it a bit interesting that they've decided to put this up just randomly. You know, they've got Weedle, obviously. And, you know, they're doing, obviously, different types of Pokemon. I just find it interesting how they said, let's go at the start of it, you know? And I just don't really understand why, specifically, they say it on its own. Obviously, they could say, well, let's let's go into this, or let's get into the challenge. But it's like, let's go. So, I think that Pokemon are definitely hinting at something here. Um, they've been doing it a lot with, you know, Game Freak have been doing it a lot with Janichi Masuda's tweets and all that. So, it's quite interesting. There's not much really right now going on, but there is ideas around the community right now that we're going to get a release of information or an announcement by the end of May. Now, we're looking at now the 23rd of May. There is eight days till the end of the month. Eight days for things to change. Now, the problem is, is a certain amount of those days can't really happen. You know, people have said before, things haven't been reported on a Friday. Directs haven't been on a Friday, therefore Fridays are cancelled. And we basically narrowed it down, so it's either tomorrow, or it'll be the 29th, 30th, or 31st, I believe. Now, I'm fingers crossing this tomorrow. And I've been believing it's been tomorrow for a long, long time. And luckily, I'm free. So, if you guys see a video from me tomorrow, with this stuff in, you know, with the uh, announcement in, you know what's going on then. But that's what we're holding on to right now as a community. I can see that a lot with people, there's a lot of tension in the air. Especially with this kind of thing about Kanto and everyone being a bit unsure about what's going on. And whether they like Kanto and whether they actually want to go back to Kanto. But there's also been ideas and rumours that there's going to be a big island and loads of small islands around it. So it's not the Kanto we used to know, which I think is a really nice idea. So we're just waiting now on Pokemon's decision to let things out. We're going to keep on obviously covering leaks and stuff, including myself. But there's not much we can really do at this moment in time. There's not really anything we can change to make this move along any faster. It's now, definitely now, a, a waiting game. You know, we've obviously seen the logos. We've obviously found out that their domains are being registered and trademarks are coming soon. We're just waiting for it. And I think there's a um, tweet by Pokeexperto. He made a good good remark basically explaining that the trademarking changes every two weeks that it gets refreshed from two weeks prior so it's saying that tomorrow i think it was all the things from the 15th of uh, may will be basically revealed so all the trademarks will be announced and that just gives them a competitive fairness so if we're going to get an announcement we'd get it before the trademarks go live so this is the idea that you know we're going to get something, but Game Freak don't want us to know about it, but they also have to trademark their game in the meantime without, you know, and trademarks are obviously public right, so you can see if there's a trademark on something. So they have to time it so their trademarks fall when an announcement's falling, and it's happened before, we've seen it before, we know we're going to get one because we've seen the trademark go through for something, and so we definitely have something on the horizon with the domains, and we almost think, as a community, I think, that the domains were registered at the same time as the trademark. Now, like I said before, two weeks, trademark, you know, kind of renews itself and then puts itself out on the internet. So we're looking at two weeks from the domain registry would be tomorrow. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, like I said before, fingers crossed it's going to be tomorrow. Obviously, we've got this little bit of information here for you guys. And that's all I have ready, you know, to show you. 
But if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. And be sure to like put something in the comment section down below. You know, what you think of all this. You know, what, what's going to happen? What do you want to see from the new games? That sort of thing. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Be sure to subscribe to let me... Um, be sure to subscribe to know when I go... Be sure to subscribe to know when I upload the next video. You know, because sometimes I do it every other day, every day. It depends what I'm doing. So just be, you know, wary that I will do it every other day or every day, depending on what I'm doing, obviously. And, yeah, subscribe just so you know when I'm doing that. Be sure to press the notification bell, you know, to no be notified when I upload. It actually works now, surprisingly. Good job, YouTube. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a safe day, and I'll see you soon.